after I um, fixed up the head, got it actually working. Um, here's a great example of two completed prints. Okay, this is the brand new paper. Uh, this paper over here is our old cousin. Okay, this sort of fella here. And you can see the tonality of this where it matches in and if I was to go through like that you can tell yes this was the one that I actually used we can see the the beautiful pot the light and I was really wrapped in the final finish but it was quite exasperating I also had taken video of this and it wasn't worth a cracker because it was uh, not uh, correct okay I thought what I would do is go back and just show a couple of pictures here of uh, 8x10 contact prints that I've done and uh, the first two are um, an old place that's on the way over to Melbourne and uh, driven past it so many times and I finally decided that I would actually pull up and get a uh, uh, get a shot and ordinarily you're stuffed, you've spent your holiday, you're on the way home and uh, this is a pig of a thing where it is because uh, you've got this great shed here, and I don't have Photoshop in my darkroom. Uh, certainly not good enough to take the shed away and leave the rest of it. Um, but this was uh, a town hall, a post office, a courthouse, uh, late 1800s construction. Uh, from a carpenter's point of view, it's fantastic, and I've got a whole set of digital images of this. And uh, only trouble is, any shot that I put up, I have to actually... Uh, clone out all the um, uh, smut that's been put all over the walls but fantastic the problem I was having was you can see it right here and here and that's basically over agitation in the tray which I've since discovered here's another one and the same thing I just get this ghosting uh, bit of darkness just here and, and uh, trying to work it out and uh, this was sort of like the eureka moment when I found this out and then discovered what I can do. Okay, at Snake Valley where uh, we've been visiting a few times, local church, very early morning. This is x-ray film into the sun. You know that stuff that you can't actually take into the sun? Well, here it is here. You can see that uh, obviously I didn't put the sun right here, but this is all shade and I've managed to actually pull out the detail. We turn over the next page. Um, Probably one of my more successful x-ray prints. Uh, this gum tree was uh, uh, around the uh, around Horse Gap. Uh, I drove about 15 minutes off the road, four-wheel drive, down a track, cross and found this uh, uh, eucalypt forest. And here's the youngsters and here's the oldest. So a great sort of uh, uh, contrast between the two. And uh, this was about two o'clock in the afternoon and uh, set this up and uh, got a fantastic shot out of it and uh, lots of kudos but at the end of the day you know like uh, there's no burning in this is exact print exactly how i took it and i try and do that um, if i can actually get a print where i don't have to muck around uh, makes life easier okay um oh a five by four neg um a mentor of mine uh, makes these things up and uh, showed me how to actually do this and we put together a bit of stuff and and uh, uh, this is actually FOMA 200 uh, negative and uh, we actually printed this up and had a, a morning session and it uh, just prints up beautiful the texture the three-dimensional qualities uh, that you can get on a really good still life um, okay same session so what we did was a pair of boots and these boots came off of a um, historical house that I worked on I underneath the floor and uh, we shoved them in a box and everything was getting tossed out so um, I took them and there's kids shoes and uh, female shoes, adult shoes, uh, an old elephant palm so uh, decided to use that. Okay. Um, on the way down south from where we live in South Australia, um, this shed is classic metal doors, um, nothing extraordinary. Hadn't actually taken a shot with the 8x10 for about eight months and uh, managed to crimp the, um, uh, the bellows in a bit and then finally discovered that that had happened. But of course, 
you know in the printing I could have made a frame like that I mean it's nothing flash sun is really coming through there and uh, here's a night shot which these guys fantastic at so this is actually uh, Flinders Uni at the uh, uh, TAFE SA site and uh, we actually set up one night and took about a 15 20 minute exposure okay a couple of more uh, shots that I took uh, down this way uh, there's a, a pine forest and uh, same thing I tried to get some different detail and uh, probably uh, one of my successful shots that I took where uh, this is actually High Marsh Falls it's nothing extraordinary only trouble is I had a couple of guys fishing for yabbies so I had to actually get them to shift their stuff and and then of course uh, looking upside down I'm looking here I can see this nice and clean didn't notice right up here in the top corner of the uh, the glass uh, uh, glass viewing screen uh, that this was hiding here so we'll just call it a feature um, this is by far most start you know just the light bouncing off here a little bit too dark there okay um, here's a uh, x-ray neg and the x-ray negs done with um, uh, this is actually just a flashlight uh, in my studio and basically set this up hanging on a hook and uh, did about three or four of these and printed them out had some great fun uh, almost looks like paper you know the texture and the folds and that's what really attracted me and then we're back again to uh, to these little fellows and uh, so I've taken quite a few of these to uh, know the best here's that old paper again okay and you can just see the difference in clarity between the two uh, getting maximum black and uh, incidentally I believe this has now been bought by Old Talum Town and it'll end up being put down there so uh, people will have an easier uh, time to get hold of it instead of it's either Neil or somewhere, somewhere like that okay Snake Valley um, Catholic Church very early one morning on our way back to Adelaide pulled up and spent 35 40 minutes uh, taking two or three shots and uh, I just like the way the fence was here the the actual starkness of the winter trees and uh, again new paper foamer this one over here the older paper and it just brings something out you know it just it just has a quality that the other doesn't okay so um, this is probably the better best shot of the new paper and you can see the stonework but you know it's just like it just covers in the whole uh, frame which is what I like and uh, so had some good fun okay fire hydrant in uh, in a friend's uh, front yard uh, broken and uh, it was windy and so we managed to pull that one and then this one here the new paper I tried to actually pull this and too dark so this one will end up in the bin but uh, these are all contact prints what, what I take that's it so there's no uh, has been no dodging or burning or, or anything like that and in actual fact to get a print out of these things they're so quick that you don't get 20 30 seconds or anything of that nature to do a print you you're more like around about the uh, uh, six to eight second mark so if I had to burn in a corner yeah I could do that but um, that's just a little bit of uh, the uh, Fuji HRT and Armin uh, X-ray uh, mammogram film and using both of those.